Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. Where today we're gonna be showing off some hover tanks. Don't know why I've been messing about with uh, hover tanks actually a while ago and I built these and never actually created a video on them. So uh now is the time to do it. Um if I sound a little bit funny, that's just because I'm still got a little bit of the uh <coughs> COVID. I'm slowly getting better from it, so it'll be fine. Um, anyway, let's get straight on to the video. Alright, so... First one was an ever design... Oh, never really went further on. Uh, it was just designed to be a basic test to see if actually the concept would work. So it's got uh, thrusters. I went with hydrogen, I don't know why. And it's a two-stage hydrogen thrust, so we've got stage one, stage two. We also have two stages of sensors. If I flip this over, you can see here. These sensors connect to those ones and they connect to these ones. I had to name all. It was alright. It was fine. Um, the main reason for that was to try and prevent it from like bouncing, because it would just hover up and then drop, and hover up and drop. Still does a bit, but it's not as bad as, as it used to be. So if I turn this on, you can see it tries, it still does that sort of hover and drop, but like if I uh, move it forward, it will actually work a little bit better. So you can sort of see it works slightly as a hover. However, hydrogen is really not a good option for this thing, so that's why I never really took it further. Also, it works fine on on at least the middle of ice, and it works fine on um, built-up grids. But as soon as you go on to anything like this, you just fly. And I don't know why. Look at it. We Actually, I, I kind of do know why. It's something to do with the uh, meshes of how they actually make the planets. So the whole this stone mesh and all this sort of like grass and all that, it has a completely different like mesh uh, box than the actual sort of ice and stuff. If you notice, you can sort of see when something de-renders in this game, it's further away. You can see how it creates the, like the spikes, and that's kind of what this whole thing is. But like it raises up a lot higher, so the sensors can't actually detect whereabouts the ground is. So this idea was never really going to uh, work. Is you know you can't have a hover tank that you can only use on ice. That would be uh, stupid. Also, don't worry. I'm this world has no damage on. So yeah, it's something else you kind of have to work out with it whacking on the ground. It's not as good. So uh, yeah, that that was uh, iteration test one, I guess you could call it. And uh, I just toggle off the grid so we don't. Do anything like that. Oh, I'm dying. Okay, so second vehicle is this. As you can see, this one uses atmospheric thrusters. It's a lot bigger. And, uh, yeah, it looks a little bit more like a tank. It actually has a gun. Uh, it's all heavy armor as well. I, uh, in fact, with these things, making things heavier is actually easier to make it hover because, like, I don't know, but you would the thrusters wouldn't just like burst for a second and send you into orbit uh these ones you can tell it has wheels and you're like hmm i thought you were making a hover thing there cool. i am i am right so if we toggle the power onto this grid see nothing happens yeah we can try move you know it doesn't really work too well that's because we need to toggle the thrusters on you can see when you toggle the thrusters on, it actually uh, lifts up. And that way, when you actually uh, fly, it actually kind of does it. So you can see these legs actually have um, sensors on them. And when the sensors trigger, the so when they get compressed, then they trigger the actual... Well, when they collide, not collide, but like when they're sent there. Uh, a little longer than a few minutes later. When the sensing area actually hits the creation, because it's fast on the subgrid, it will uh, actually thrust these side pods up to give it a little bit more power. Um, 
the rotors also do have a little bit of torque on them uh so they try and like push up a little bit it's not enough to actually keep the whole vehicle up so it is actually hovering using these thrusters but it works a tad bit better than uh yeah it actually hovers as you can see i actually really like this vehicle pretty cool um this one and the next vehicle I'm going to show you also do have a script. So as you can see how it's like hovering with the horizon. I'm not doing that. Um, we have a script somewhere in here. I... There we go. So it's a... Uh, there's a script which... I actually don't know. I'll leave a link in the description. It's a hover elider script. And it essentially hovers just vehicle with um the horizon where it tries its best to you can still use the um, gyros to sort of turn and all that but like yeah it just makes the hovercraft a little bit easier to use and uh yeah the only bad thing is it doesn't like line up with the uh hills. the only problem i've had also i might need to add a couple more gyros for how heavy this is we but they're just really fun to use. I've got to admit, I, I just have fun messing about with them. But sorry, what I'm trying to show is if you drive onto... Well, it still hovers like how it shows out. It doesn't send you into orbit. Wow. How nice. It's like how it's supposed to be. And how you would imagine iteration one would have gone. Anyway. I guess I should also show this one also has a uh, working gun. I don't know why, but I didn't put the camera on. There we go. Real ones. Re I made a really, really simple gun. I w this whole video isn't to show off how a gun works. You've seen my, some of my tanks and my turret videos. Or if you haven't, I recommend you watching them. Uh, people seem to like them a lot, so yeah um yeah so this is done works, works well others and yeah so this is a script uh no not script technically it's scriptless it's not using a script to hover i don't need the script technically on it all it does is auto align me but it's just nice but it's modless has no mods so uh yeah and you can see it will uh get up all nice and cool. Alright, so that's that one. So I can toggle that off and I can toggle off that. And yeah, I, I think this looks pretty pretty cool. I also added a uh, spoiler to the back of this for no apparent reason, you may have noticed. I also added a spoiler to this one, which I don't know. I think this should have been the other way around, but I don't really know. I kind of like it though. I've been having fun messing about of doing that, but uh, yeah. So this one, this is a modded hover craft. So this is using a mod which I can't actually remember the name of. I'll have it link on, or a photo on the screen, the link will be in the description of where you can actually get these this mod from. You press number five to turn them on and it hovers. Quite, quite simple, you can press spacebar to hover at a higher altitude, you can set all this up. And if you just let let everything go, it will naturally hover. It will also just, you know, work on all surfaces. You know, sometimes in this game, mods are just the way to go. Sure, you can make things, you can make something work and kind of hover using thrusters, but other times, everything's just a lot easier. Now, this is also using. Uh, this this script for hover script, but I don't actually think I need it for this one. Uh, if I just toggle this off, oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't actually think I need it for this one, and it's really good. It will never hit me around this thing. We got a gun 
I can shoot it just whilst I'm driving around, or I can go into the turret and actually uh, use it like a, uh, like a gun. But yeah, I, I like I like the gun. I think that uh, the second one, the actual like um, modelless tank, looks cool. It was fun to build, but yeah, this this one just works so well. But who would have thought something would have worked well when it's a uh, modded block? It's, it's it's one purpose in life, so you know. But yeah, um, that's what I built these ages ago. So I wanted to uh, show them off to you and uh, show off the weird bug with. Uh, you know, it not exactly flying, right? I, I don't quite know why, but yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, if you ended up liking this video, please like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. You'll uh, help me out quite a bit. Also, leave me a comment for what you want to see me uh, mess about with or have a look at in this game or any other games. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for today, so... Thank you so much for watching everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!